Welcome back to Just Making It. Today I'm in Meadville, Pennsylvania at Green Hill Farms. They're celebrating their 42nd annual consignment auction. It's this Saturday, April 20th, and it starts at 9 a.m. This is an auction where you have to be present. There's no online bidding. And there's usually a lot of people here. And I can remember coming here when I was a kid and I remember a lot of mud right in this area. So hopefully the weather holds up. Like I said, it starts Saturday, April 20th. Okay, starting up front, we have a little four-star tether. Next to it, we have an Alice tractor. I don't know how many horsepower that is. Looks like a B, and it's gas, four cylinder. And we got a little roto tiller, Land Pride. And we got a county line tiller, right there. Over here we got a L2800 Kubota. It's got the front end loader, it looks like it's four wheel drive. Skid steer attachment in the front. Nice little tractor. Next to it, we've got a John Deere. This is a big tractor here. Looks like an off-brand loader. I'm not too sure what kind. All right, this is a 4650 John Deere. Cab, duels in the back. That's a big tractor. See what the rear end looks like. It's got three sets of remotes. Looks like two of them are being used. Probably for the loader. That thing is built. It's got a thousand PTO. It's a nice tractor. Can do a lot of work with that. 46.50. All right, let's keep going here. Here's a belly mower. Well, actually, it's not a belly mower. This is a three-point mower. Right there. It's a bobcat. Then we got a Kubota. Little skid steer attachment in the front. It's a BX-235, nice little tractor here. It's got a backhoe in the back, two stick. Very nice. Right next to it, we've got a Kubota. Doesn't have a backhoe in the back. It's got three point hitch. It's got a belly mower. It's a B7610. Nice little tractor. Next to it, we've got a John Deere 613 brush hog. Next to that, we've got a three point hitch cutter. Got a Land Pride brush hog. Here we got a B1750 Kubota. It's got a belly mower, three point hitch, 540, four wheel drive. Okay, moving on to the second row, we got another Kubota, 
three-point hitch got a blade right there belly mower it's a B7500 then we have an old set of pair disc here here's a BX1500 Kubota belly mower four-wheel drive it's got a three-point hitch Looks like we got an auger right here. We've got a backhoe. Goes on the back of a tractor. And over here we've got another three-point mower. Right there. And we've got another little tractor here. It's got chains in the back and it's gas could be an 8N or a 9N I'm not too sure next to it we got a Kubota L3830 it's four wheel drive skid steer attachment in the front not sure on the horsepower here it might be 38 30 horsepower three-point hitch nice little tractor four-wheel drive next to we got an M 135 X it's got the cab four-wheel drive got lots of weights in the front my guess is it's 135 horse pretty nice tractor there's what the back end looks like two sets of outlets 540 PTO nice okay here we got a four-wheel drive three-point hitch Kubota this is a BX 2680 skid steer attachment in the front nice unit okay here we got an elevator we got another elevator a wooden one here we got a set of disc maybe what 10 feet 12 feet and it looks like we just got a three-point platform to haul things on maybe and over here we got a Kubota BX 235 skid steer attachments in the front we got three-point arms sitting there maybe they're extra this is four-wheel drive it's got the backhoe in the back nice okay here we got a nice size brush hog it's got to be at least six feet very nice we got another three-point mower here's a BX 2380 tractor Looks like it's four-wheel drive. Yep, four-wheel drive. Three-point hitch. Next to this, we got another brush hog. It looks like it's six feet. Might be a little bit more. All right, here we got a 6085 white. Four-wheel drive, canopy. It's got to be, I'm guessing it's an 85 horse by the numbers, not too sure. And two sets of outlets in the back, 540 PTO. 
This is a heavy duty set of John Deere plows, four bottoms, looks like 18 inch. Here we got a Gale Scavenger 1309 Slinger, manure spreader. Next to that we got a Ford, looks like it may be an 8 in gas. It's got a sickle bar in the back. Next to that we've got a, another Kubota B2920 belly mower. Front loader, doesn't have the skid steer attach, attach bucket there. It's got the belly mower, three point hitch, and that's four wheel drive. Here we got a little back blade. Now we got a Kubota, looks like a little bit older one. It's an L5030. It's got a cab. Three point hitch. Okay, here we got another, looks like a six foot brush hog. Here's an International 234 with a belly mower. Hydro, three point hitch, next to that it looks like we got a log splitter, we got a log splitter, hydraulic, we got an older brush hog here, it looks to be maybe four or five feet, we got a set of drag hires, right there, Looks like we got another, these are Fords, three point hitch mower. And we got a sickle mower here. There's a belly mower. And another set of discs. Over here we got an old set of running gears. Looks like they left the boards there on for you. So you can make a flatbed wagon. There you go. Right here we got a new Holland TC45. I'm guessing it's 45 horse. Front end loader. It's four wheel drive. It's got the canopy. Three point hitch. I don't see any outlets in the back of that tractor. Here we got, it looks like, and I've never seen anything like this, but it looks like an offset hitch mower. I don't know what brand it is, it's got a big belt in, in the middle. It's older. Built like a tank though. Here's another Kubota belly mower. It's a BX2370. Front end loader. Looks like it's got the regular attachment there for the loader. I don't see no nice little tractor. That's got a three-point hitch, four-wheel drive. All right, next to that we got, it looks to be about a four-foot brush hog. It's called a brush bull. Here we got another Kubota. This is a B2100 front loader, belly mower. Three point hitch, comes with a link, there you go. 
Okay, we got a little scooper here, three point hitch. We got an older tractor here. It's got a loader on it. Not too sure on what size this is. It's gas. It's got a lot of weight in the back. There you go. All right, now we got a three point hitch, roto tiller. Agric AFM J70 looks to be about a five, maybe a six footer. Here we got another Ford tractor, a lot of Ford tractors here. It's gas, and that is a Jubilee. See the front right there? Yep, golden Jubilee. I used to have one of those. Good raking tractors. Next to that, we got another brush hog. Lots of brush hogs here if you need one. Older one. Here's an older international planter. I'm guessing it could be a 56. Not sure. That'd be a plate planter. Here we got a BX2200 Kubota belly mower, four wheel drive. Green Hill Farm is, is a Kubota dealer, so if you're looking for a nice Kubota tractor, side by side, what have you, they handle Kubotas. Here's a nice little backhoe Kubota, four wheel drive. Very nice. Front loader. Looks like they took the hitches off for the backhoe. Very nice. That's a BX25. It's got a front guard on it. Here we got a post hole driller. Looks like you got a 9 inch and maybe a 4 inch auger. Then we got a GE602 Looks like a Newson, Newson product. It's a Gale, that's a Gale right there. That is a Gale excavator. Very nice. Looks like they give you two extra buckets. Two buckets there. And a ditch bucket is attached to it. Front blade. That would come in handy right there. Perfect size. All right, for you hay guys, here's a hay bind. I used to have a 488. Let's see what this is. Looks like it's definitely about a 10 footer. 9999. Nine, nine, nine. Let's see. Yeah, things in pretty good shape. 488. There you go. Those are nice mowers, they float nice. When you're going over rough ground and uh, the only thing is about these like once the rubber starts going it keeps on peeling and that's what the rubber looks like on that mower right there okay next we got a snow blower three-point hitch hooks to a tractor we got another Kubota four-wheel drive three-point hitch it's a BX 2660 front end loader with the quick connect there skid steer connection very nice all right next to that we have another brush hog looks to be about a four footer nice here we got a Massey Ferguson 165 and this is a gasser it's got pretty good skins in the back 
I'm assuming, I think it's 65 horse, I'm not sure. Yep. This tire's in bad shape, a little dry rotted. The other tire's better. It's got weight. Okay, here's a Kubota MX 5100. That's a nice mid sized tractor there. Skid steer, four wheel drive. And this is what the back end looks like. It looks like you got one set of remotes right there. All right, here you got another three-point hitch mower. Here's a manure spreader. And it looks like a New Holland. Older New Holland manure spreader. Let's see what the inside looks like. Here's what the inside looks like. It's clean. Here's another brush hog. Laying pride. Here is a Massey Harris. Model 30. Tricycle. Yep. Not too shabby. Well, there's a bird's nest. So maybe it wasn't ran for a while. I'm not sure. There's a bird's nest right there. It's gas. Yep, Massey Harris. Here's what the back end looks like. All right, here's a fuel tank. Here's a Case International 1140. Looks like you got manure fork bucket there. Let's see what the back end looks like. All right, you do have some hydraulics in the back here. They're right here to the left. Okay, here's an old Kubota. I don't see a model number on it. It's got a belly mower. Okay. There's another scooper, three point hitch. Here's a BX2230 loader, belly mower. Four wheel drive, three point hitch. A lot of these uh, type mowers at this sale. Of course, like I said, they're a Kubota dealer. Okay, here's another Kubota tractor. This one is a B2620 front end loader. Four-wheel drive, three-point hitch. Nice. Okay, we got a blade right here. We got another blade here. And we have a six-row international corn planter. Looks like the double discs are in the front. Boy, those are big boxes right there. You can put a lot in there. Yep. I used to have a 56 four row. And it did a good job. I just wanted to get away from the plates. Nice in good shape for the year it is okay here we got a looks like a blade a 
three-point blade. Here's an L2500 older Kubota. Front end loader, four-wheel drive. Three-point hitch. Yep. Here's a blade. A plow, actually. Okay, here we've got some chisels. Older set. They sit pretty high. Looks like a fuel tank. It's got a pump on it. Here's an old set of rollover plows. McCormick, if you are a collector, there you go. You've got rollover plows. Look at that. I know somebody that might be interested in those. Huh. They look awful heavy. McCormick. They look like they're maybe 16 inch, not sure. All right, here's a John Deere brush hog. Looks like a six footer, maybe a little bit bigger. Then we got another back blade there. It looks like it's been sitting there for a while. Here's a BX23 Kubota. Front end loader, belly mower, four wheel drive. Got the nice little backhoe in the back. That'd be nice and handy. And here, looks like we got another, not too sure on the model number here. It's been painted, could be a Ford. Looks like there was blue underneath it. It was painted red. So maybe somebody had a Ford and they want to make it an international. It's gas. Yep, here's what the back end looks like. No outlets. All right, here's a B2910 four-wheel drive, three-point hitch, front-end loader, belly mower. Okay. Let's move over here. Yeah, here's a corn planter, two-row. You don't see them like this too often. This would be nice for food plots and so, stuff like that. Yeah, thing looks pretty new. It's a model 7100. John Deere. Three-point hitch. Huh. Maxi Merge. That doesn't look like a no-till. I don't see no-till blades on it, but it'd be pretty nice. You don't need a real, real big tractor to use that. All right, here we got a snow blower. Along with this tractor here, it's got a three-point hitch. It's a Kubota BX1870 with a belly mower, front end loader, and it looks like it has, hmm, I'm not too sure what that is right there. Might have something to do with that snow blower hookup. Okay, here's a backhoe. Right here, three point hitch. And I've been seeing these around for cattle. People are making these rings out of pipe. And it's plastic. And it looks like they would hold up pretty good. It looks like they're bolted together pretty good. Um, but it would be nice because you can move them. So we got that there. Here's an Alice 5020, four wheel drive, loader. It's got really good tires on it. 
Matter of fact, they look brand new. Okay, there's the rear end. You got a set of outlets. Three-point hitch. Yep. All right, over here we've got a brush hog. It looks like to be about a four-footer. Right there. We got another Kubota. Anybody looking for a, a tractor that can do a lot of little things? I mean, they got front loaders and backhoes on them. A BX25. Right there. That's four-wheel drive. There's your little backhoe in the back. Okay. Here we've got, I'm not too sure what this is off of, so I'm just going to show you and walk by. Here's a uh, sprayer tank. All I see is a tank on there. I don't see any booms or anything. Three-point hitch. Here's a three-point. It's a little tiller, it looks like. It's got tines underneath it, like a tiller. There's smaller. Here's another log splitter. And I couldn't tell you what this is. It hooks to a three-point hitch, maybe. Here's another three-point mower. Here's a four or five-foot brush hog. Here's a back blade. Here's a set of fold down, fold up pars. Right there. Yep. And here's one single plow. It looks to be, I'm not too sure, 14 inch, 16. Okay, on to the next row. Here's a, uh, a plow. There you go. And here is a, let's see what this is. It hooks to a skid steer. I can't see underneath it. My guess is it's some kind of mower or something, or it could be like a cleaner. There's a hydraulic pump on it. So, let me see here. <clears throat> Okay, here we got a brush chopper for skid steer. I heard these do real good jobs. Here is a, looks to be about a five foot brush hog, woods, right there. Here's a post driller. Looks like they got a nine inch and maybe a 12 inch on there, not too sure. Roto tiller, king cutter. I had one of these. Yep. They work good. You can do a garden in like 20 minutes. There you go. All right, here we got a Moco John Deere. Looks like a hay bind. It's not a disc bind. Yep, a hay bind. And it looks to be maybe nine foot. 10 foot actually you know this thing is in good shape look at the rollers the rubber rollers there's no rubber missing that looks pretty nice looks like you get an extra blade with it there on top but yeah that looks like anybody starting out making hay and you can't afford a disc bind that might be the way to go to start out that thing's built like a tank. See if I can find a model number on it. Right there. John Deere 720. Mm-hmm. Doesn't look to have any major rust on it, neither. Let's look underneath here. Yep, those rollers look nice. Whoever had this, they kept it under a roof. 
All right, here's another international corn planter. Could be a 56. Cylinder works, it says. Still drop seed and there's extra plates. There you go, four row. Here's a manure spreader. Looks, to, it says 225 bushel. It's got That's a nice little old manure spreader. Let's see what the inside looks like. Yeah, clean. Let's see what the beaters look like. Not too bad. Okay, here's a tractor that I only seen a few of. It's called a Bela I call it, people say it's a Belarus. So I'm just going to say a Belarus. I used to call it a Belarus. <laughs> But it's a Bella Roos, okay? Here's one set of outlets in the back. Okay, it's got narrow tires. It's got a cab, it's a 425A Bella Roos. Cab, four wheel drive, got some weights in the front. I don't know how hard it would be to buy parts for something like this. I don't even know if they're still around. If anybody knows, comment. Here's a Dutes D3006. Alright, let's take a look here. It's got one set of outlets in the back. 540. Yep. Okay. Here is another tiller. This one only looks to be about maybe four feet, three feet. Here's a McCormick Farmall A, Model A. It's got nice weights in the back. The skins look great on this. Actually, they look like they're brand new. Yep, nice little tractor. It's got the offset seat there. Yep, that's a gasser. Okay, here's a back blade next to that tractor. Then you got a set of wheels, and I don't know what else it has. <laughs> Just has a bar going across, so you can make something out of something. All right, so here's a packer. Okay, that looks to be about maybe 15 feet, 12 feet. Dual wheels in the back. Here's a sycamore. All right. You can see it's not muddy right now. But if it starts raining, I think there's rain coming for Saturday. I'm not sure. It could be a muddy mess. All right, here's a brush cutter. Skid steer. Check this out. Here's a brush chopper. Stick your branches in there. It's a Wallstein BX52. Five inch chipper. Thing looks brand new. Let's see what the inside looks like. Okay, you're not gonna see much. Three point hitch. That would come in handy around the farm. Okay, here's a three-point back blade, snow plow for a truck. Here's a two bottom right here. And what's this saying? Deer, deer horn, deer born. So I think those are John Deere's, they're painted red. Not sure. Two bottom. They look like they're, I don't know, it could be 12, 14 inch. Okay, here's another snow plow, skid steer. Three point back blade. Snow plow for a truck. 
another snow plow for a truck looks like he's throwing in a bunch of other stuff there well, that's good okay here's a Massey Ferguson with the back blade there you go back tires look pretty decent and it's gas no it says diesel deluxe eh, it's got a bull right there's a bull and it says diesel deluxe huh let's go around this thing yes sirree right there's the injector pump that thing is diesel looks like it has a sediment bowl all right okay here's a tank looks like a fuel tank here's a John Deere 100 blower for your uh, silage there we go here's a New Holland two-head chopper for silage and here's the chopper it's got the hay head on it That's model 718. All right, check this out, guys. There's a BR740 crop cutter. Looks like it's got the net wrap. It's got a tank in the middle. That thing's a beast. Extra sweep. Nice. Okay, and here's one of those water tanks. Looks brand new. Here, back here we got, looks like a truck axle. And we have another log splitter. Looks like a wheeled hitch brush hog. Here's a spear, three-point hitch. Here's a tank. Here's a new Holland Haybine. Okay, let's see what number this is. This is a 489. They made a lot of these. They stopped making the Haybines, I think it was like two years ago. They uh, don't make them anymore. But you can get all the parts, and they got old ones laying around. The rubber looks, and top roller right there, it's missing rubber. If you got rollers that are missing rubber, you better take a saw with you or a knife, because it's going to keep coming off. And it's not cheap to get those uh, the rubber back on those rollers. 489 there's a manure spreader not too sure on the make there's what the inside looks like wooden floor here's a set of tires they're 20.8 by 38 right there Here's a three-point back blade. Here's a four-star tether. Let's see the model on it here. Looks like it was bought at Wiggers. It's got the Wiggers sticker on it. Maybe it's a Citrex. Looks like it's missing a few arms right here on that, that spinner. Okay. Here we got a brush hog, looks a king cutter, looks to be about a four footer. Looks like we got a snow blade here. Pretty big one. And it looks like we've got a, check this out. This is homemade. I've never seen anything like this. This is a three point or it looks like you got a skid steer attachment 
okay and you got uh this is cool you got spears here they put one two three four five six spears looks like you can have another one in the middle then up top they made a hydraulic grapple so let's say you spear a, one of those big square bales or a round bale even and you go to spear it you could put the grapple to her and that thing won't move isn't that something that's definitely homemade I've never seen anything like that brand new that's pretty cool okay here we got a skid steer looks like a manure bucket and then we got a calf hutch right here and it looks like a homemade three-point hitch looks like you can throw a calf on there and take it to the barn or a bell of hay or what have you all right we're on the last row here <coughs> here you got a mineral feeder looks like it could be homemade put your minerals right in there keeps it out of the weather here you got a skid steer bucket here's a post hole driller here's a I'm just gonna call it oh this is a older like a Rotella um, it smooths the dirt out like after you plow that's an older one there Rotera they call those okay here's a snow blade snow pusher here's another tank fuel tank here's a single plow looks to be 16 inch maybe here's another three-point mower here's a John Deere Green drill, single disc. It's got the single disc on it. Here's an old grain drill right there. It's got the wheels, big wheels, steel wheels on it. It's even got a little small seed box in the front. Wow, that's so cool. Looks like you'll need to get the tubes for it. Tubes are missing. Here we got a fire mail cub. It's got the chains in the back. Here's some plow parts, hire parts. Yep. That thing's neat. That's a gas. It's got the blade in the front. Huh. Looks like he threw a new battery on there. There's carburetor parts in that box. And you're going to have a dry seat. He covered the seat up. There you go. Here's an old manure spreader. This looks like a cow carrier, calf carrier, whatever you want to haul in it. got a hitch on it here's an elevator grain elevator right there okay here we got a mixer grinder OMC OMC a lot of Tana <laughs> <laughs> I can't pronounce that. Some of you guys out there might know what brand that is. Maybe the stickers, some of the stickers are missing. There's the name right there. Never heard of that. That's a grinder mixer. And here's a new Holland 357. There you go.
All right, now we're gonna go down this row. It's got some vehicles, looks like some boats, campers. Let's check this out. A couple trailers. Here's some hunting shacks right here. This is what they look like inside. A lot of windows, steel roofs. You can slide it around. That one's sort of octagon. Here's a square. Here's a little wishing well. Bird houses. These bird houses are neat. Check this out. There's like 10 of them all together. It's all like one. But they have their own little... That's pretty cool. Okay, here's a car trailer. And here's a enclosed big trailer. That thing's huge. Okay, here's a F-250 Super Duty Triton 10 cylinder. Right there. Looks like the guy that had it did some stump grinding. Here's a snow plow on it. What's this say? Light pole or flag pole? 21 foot long. Those are hard to find. That's a flag pole. Check that out. Okay, here we got another trailer. Here's a boat. Landon boat. It's got an Evan Root on it. No title, it says. Okay, it even looks like they're going to throw in the cooler. I see a cooler in it. Right there. Yep, and that looks like the... Uh, steering column so that motor is a 35 horsepower Evinrude and it's a steering one okay here's a rack it looks like for a pickup truck aluminum and here's a nice camper thing's huge it's got a fold out And it's called a hitch hiker. It's got fold outs on both sides in the back. That thing looks massive. All right, here's a pontoon. Right there. Got a cover on it. Here's a nice shed. Anybody looking for a nice shed? We've got double doors in the front here, windows. All right, we got some tires here. 16.9 by 30, right there. These are 17 and a half uh, R25s. These are 13.6 by 28s and these are I don't see the size they're fire stones okay this looks like an asphalt layer or blacktop excuse me okay and this looks like there's one tire there there's another set of tires. Here's an F-250 with the plow, V-10, Triton. Here's an F-150, XL. Here's a box truck, right there, Chevy. Here's an aluminum boat rowboat right there looks to be maybe 12 foot and then there's a older bed liner over here we got another car trailer we got a trailer here looks 
looks like we got a flatbed trailer right there we've got a bed for a a truck with a lot of boxes on the back right there it's all steel okay then we got some truck racks right there over here looks like we got an older forklift and we got a, a walk roller right there a couple boxes here's a skid steer it's a 763 bobcat and it looks like to be a grinder right there okay here's another shed that's a nice shed right there double doors windows steel roof nice okay what i'm gonna do these are mainly small items i'm just gonna walk right down here if there's something that you see come out to the cell there's some signs there, some windows. Looks like a tire. Here's some international, well, I'm guessing they're international, they're red. Some weights, they're real small though. And then there's some wheel weights right there and there's a sprayer. Here's a bunch of chains in those buckets. And you got, it looks like some Kubota front grill protectors right there. There's a Reese hitch or a hitch. There's a sandblaster, tires. There's some twine right there. They got it wrapped up. Here's a tree stand. Here's a bunch of car tires, truck tires right there. Sprayer. Here's a bunch of hydraulic hoses in these buckets. And there's some tires on rims. There's a saw. There's a bunch of wheel weights right here. I don't know what they're off of. Dual connectors. Another tree stand fuel tanks there's some little excavator buckets there's a boat motor here's a scale an older scale that's pretty interesting right there weigh your feed here's a welder miller there's more weights right there. I have no idea what they're off of. Looks like uh, scaffolding. More tires. Here's some miscellaneous stuff for like fences. There's clips in there. There's a dog kennel there. Fence posts. Tire. There's a chainsaw. Mm, there's a pump right there, water pump. There's some concrete floats right there. There's a nice aluminum ladder right there, that's long. Some pipes. Just going to walk along here. Here's some boxes for trucks. There's some old, what are those, milk containers. Yep. There's a sprayer. A little compressor. Pressure washer. Some more truck boxes. There's some leaf blowers. There's some rope. That always comes in handy. And some miscellaneous stuff on this skid. 
Looks like some tools right here. I'm not going to open them up, but there's some tools on the... There's even a backboard for a bed right there. Log. Okay, now I'm going to show you what everybody's been waiting for. The lawn mowers. I can't go through every one. There's too many. But that's what Green Hill Farm is noted for. They got a ton of lawn mowers. Any make, any model. Zero turn, the garden tractors. They got side by sides. They got four wheelers. I'm just going to go up and down here and just show you what they got. It take me forever to show you everything. Okay, I'm just going to zigzag through here. Maybe there'll be something that catches your eye, but there's uh, even snowmobiles here. And like I said, there's zero turn tractors um, from every make and model. So I'm just going to be quiet here and just walk through here. There might be something that catches your eye. And you can come out here. It's Route 77, Meadville, Pennsylvania. There's no online bidding. You have to be present. If something catches my eye, I'll stop, take a look at it. Oh, look, there's a John Deere. <laughs> yeah, we'll just keep going here. All right. There's a side-by-side, -side, a sidekick. Kubota. And they sell all, they sell all Kubota equipment here. As far as side-by-sides go, tractors lawn mowers you can i'll show you here in a minute of their line of new uh tractors i'll just take a but here's a bunch of zero turns these are mainly kubotas and they got anything from being real used to Looks like almost brand new. There's snow blowers, there's tillers. Just gonna do a zigzag. And I'm sure, I don't know, these all look like they might have keys in them. They might let you start them up. You know, see how they are. There's one zero turn here I like, and it caught my eye when I walked past. And it's this one right here. A John Deere Z720E. Look at the seat on that thing. That's what caught my eye right there. That thing looks comfy. Z-Track. Lots of garden mowers. You can see right in this area. Look at them. Simplicity. All kinds. This is what uh, Green Hill carries as far as new equipment. Now they got everything from mid-sized tractors to right over here is an M6. 
and it looks to be over 100 horsepower. That one right there on the corner. M6 141. That thing's nice. Look at that. Four wheel drive. Yep. So they have your mid size tractors. Boy, look at this thing. You got a backhoe. It's got a canopy. I like this. M62 loader. Look at that. Front end loader. That thing's pretty nice. M62. You can do some work with that. But they got all kinds. They got excavators. Yonmar over there. And then over here they got your smaller lawn mowers, garden mowers, front end loaders, those type tractors. Right there. Well, I showed you about everything that there is here. This is Green Hill Farms Route 77, Meadville, Pennsylvania. 9 a.m. April 20th. Thanks again for watching, just making it.